Hello friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you are doing wonderful. In this video, we are going to see how to make the function input parameter as optional. If you see my previous video, function input part 2, so in that I mentioned uh, you are not able to skip the function input parameter in the OData URI. So whatever, how many parameters you have designed in function import, all the parameters to be added in the URI. But one way is you can skip by passing the values to those parameters, but you have to use it. The other way is uh, in the design level, you are not able to make uh, out of three, I, am, I want to make two is mandatory, one is optional for the function input. That is not possible, but we have an alternative for that. Let's get into the slides. So here, uh, this is from the previous video. This, this, this is the one I mentioned over there. Function input parameters are mandatory. You can skip passing the values only. So, but you have to mention it. If it is a 10 parameters, yes, you have to mention all the 10 in your OData data URI. So this is by default design level, okay? So probably you have uh, some idea now about MPC extension class and DPC extension class, right? As I mentioned, the MPC extension class is for, or MPC class is for design level and DPC is for, sorry, DPC class is for data manipulation. So if you want to make some design level changes through a code, then you need an MPC extension class, right? So here we are going to make that one because that in the default design, you are not make any parameters optional for function import, but we have an extension class called MPC extension class where we can add our custom code. That code will replace the design level parameters. Okay, so that's what we are going to do uh, to make the functional, for, sorry, to make the function input parameter is optional. So we, yeah, we have an option to modify the default design through a MPC extension class. So the code is pretty simple and you might aware uh, about the define method because uh, we have long journey in OData servers. So you know about the define method, okay? So that is coming under MPC class and MPC extension class also you have the inherited method because it's coming from the base of MPC class. So now we are going to redefine it. And same like DPC. So DPC, all the get entity, everything before writing a code, you have to redefine it. Same way you have to redefine the define method also. Here, all the codes are going to, we are going to write under MPC extension class because it's a design level change. So we need two uh, reference parameters. One is for an action to receive the reference of your function import. So the code level, we need everything as a reference, right? So we need to get the reference of your function import. Once you get the reference of the function import, you are able to access the parameters also very easily. Once you access the parameter, parameters nothing but which parameter you want to make as optional to receive that reference also. Once you receive it, then you can play around to set the property like uh, I want to make this optional, I want to make this mandatory. Everything you can play around through coding. So the first is uh, I'm getting the reference of my function import through a method called model and sorry, the parameter called model and the method is get action. Okay. So here you have to pass your function import name. This is case sensitive. So how you are making the function import name, same way you have to uh, pass the values over here within single quotes. Once you get the reference of your function uh, import, then you are able to get the pa parameter reference of the parameter of your function input through code level. So for that, you're going to use this reference parameter because it has your function import reference. And there is a method called get input parameter and then parameter name, whatever you mentioned, the parameter name, you have to pass it here. So now you, you got the reference of the parameter. Now, play around with the property. So the property is set nullable, okay? So for this reference, I have a method called set nullable. I'm going to make that is true. So if you make null is true, then the system accepts, okay, so the default design function parameter has two parameters, but the M MPC extension class define method is redefined with custom code. So the custom code explains very clearly that particular parameter is not mandatory. So you can skip 
I uh, giving the name also, not not only the values. You can skip the parameter in the O data URA also. Okay. So if you already done with my previous O data servers um, video, because uh, it will be easy for you. I'm going to I'm going to uh, use the same O data service for this. Uh, video as well okay so if not please make sure you go and at least get what is the ODDA service name I, I, the project level what I designed it so just go through quickly and come to this and continue the rest of the part of this video so let's get into the system so this is my system and uh, as I mentioned this one got created in my previous video and uh, ODDA service project function import and it has a one function import with two parameters. So one is material and one is plant. So you have to mention both in your OData URI. So I'm going to make the plant as optional. Okay. So for that, I have to go to MPC extension class, go to runtime artifact, not DPC. The, all the code is coming under MPC here because it's a design level change. So go to above book bench. And here there is a method called define that is coming under inherited method. So you have to redefine it right click redefine double click so the code I'll, i have already written over there uh, actually i what happened is i deleted the redefinition and again create a uh, different means do the redefinition so it's automatically take the previous code whatever i have entered otherwise basically this method is getting empty and once you redefine the first initial time, it is empty. Then you have to write the same code over there. Okay. So whatever the code I explained, same thing is here also. There is no other change. So there are two uh, reference parameter and this also to be added. This I missed in the PPT. Your uh, base class uh, definition method to be called using the super keyword. Okay. So that is your uh, base class, right? Super class. So call method super and define. After that, we are going to write the code to get the reference of the function import name. Make sure there is no spelling mis mistake or case in this case sensitive. Okay, how you created the same way you have to add it here. And once you get the reference, using that reference, I'm going to uh, get the reference of the particular parameter that is nothing but plant. So the method is get input parameter. Once I receive the particular uh, reference of the import parameter uh, value, then I'm going to use a method called set nullable. So set nullable is one of the method with the parameter called uh, iv nullable underscore nullable. So equal to above true or simply you can say x whatever it is. Okay. So what happens is once you um, add the code and you have to redefine, so you have to activate your MPC extension class. Okay. So, okay, always keep it in display mode and activate from your top level. Act toward it. Okay, so once you're done, then you yeah, make sure it is active. Sometimes it is not. Okay, active. So once you're done, now we just change the default design using mpc extension class and the method name is define okay so now you go to the uri and you can pass only the material not the plant and suppose the method is so the uh, odata service screen is already open sometimes it won't um, um, work based on your expectation meaning it won't get the uh, redefine define method so either do a cache cleanup or simply just close the entire browser means entire um, gateway server system and then uh, means log off and log on again simple okay so now okay, I, I closed everything so let's go to the service transaction and uh, find the auditor servers so these are we just i done in the previous video so if you want a quick reference just go through that one and here i have to mention the validation and the first field is material i'm not going to give plant so the previous video uh, we have used and plant equal to empty okay so when we skip the values but you have to mention the name because that is mandatory by, by uh, default design 
and execute it. So it executed successfully, it won't give a message called invalid plant uh, like that. And this is a message what we created yesterday. So material not found. Okay. Okay, not yesterday, it's in the previous video. Okay, so I hope this might be useful. This is a way you have to make uh, one of the function import uh, parameter is optional. It's not only one, you can make uh, n number of function input parameters, depends on the design. So you have to add, you have to get the reference of it and you can make uh, this parameter as true, nullable as true, okay? Fine, and this is one of the example when we need MPC extension class. So if there is a, a design level change, then you got to go to MPC extension class, okay? Thank you so much for your time. See you in the next video. Bye.